Scans of the scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. I suppose it is a rather darkly beautiful phenomenon. Darkly beautiful. I like that. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. You mean... a god? Yes. I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd. But I am a scientist because science brings me closer to something greater than myself. There's something about coming face to face with something wondrous that makes you want to believe. Wow. It's wonderful to meet someone who understands. I've had to justify myself so often. As if having faith in the divine invalidated my work as a scientist. As if this sacred could be diminished by the search for truth. You definitely have an interesting perspective on the interplay between faith and science. I'd really like to pick your brain on that sometime. Maybe over drinks? The Nexus? I, uh... I like that. Now I should probably update the rest of the team with my latest reports. We'll talk later. I saw pictures of the vault. Astounding how big it is. And how much of it didn't you see? What if it's way bigger? What's all that space for? Wild remnant parties? What else would you use it for? Oh, Ryder, you're adorable. I know. I take it you work closely with the Nexus science team? I try to keep in contact with them. We discuss anything and everything we discover out here. After all, many brains are better than one, and Dr. Aridana is worth two or three at least. I work best when I have other people to bounce ideas off of. What do you know about the Remnant's terraforming network? From what I can tell, the vault is designed to adjust almost everything about a planet. Climate, pH of the soil, atmosphere composition. There's even evidence that it can propagate life. If we can figure out how to control the vaults, we could turn these worlds into perfect habitats. I'm still fuzzy about how we managed to see Andromeda all the way from home. It confused me too. I mean, the light lag would have made any data two million years out of date. So I asked Dr. Aridana, and she told me, well, it wasn't her tech that did it. It was the Geths. You're kidding. Those killer robots we had in the Milky Way? Those exact ones. The Initiative obtained data from an array in deep space. A Geth construct. According to Aridana, the Geth rebuilt a mass relay and turned the approach corridor into an FTL sensor. FTL sensor? So a faster-than-light telescope? They could survey Andromeda as it was? Not exactly, but it cut down the lag by... enough. We don't know why the Geth were interested in observing beyond the galaxy, though. Maybe we'll never know. Did my dad know about this? Why didn't he tell me? It's possible he didn't know. The Geth are isolationist and hostile. Using the info, even obtaining it in the first place, probably crossed a lot of boundaries. What do you know about the Scourge? We established that it's artificial. Someone put it there. Or they did something that caused its creation. We don't know why. That's still a mystery. When did you start believing in a god? My parents were both scientists. My home was ruled by rationality. So when I became a teenager, let's just say that while other kids find Batarian music, I found God. But your work as a scientist convinced me even more, especially when I got into molecular biology, physics. The patterns I kept seeing over and over again, they were like an artist's watermarks. God, to me, is an artist, an inventor, not someone checking to see if I brush my teeth. I should get back to things. Sounds good. What's going on? I'm really glad you volunteered to join our crew, by the way. I am too. You galaxy and all. I'm honored to be here. No, I mean... I think you're cute and I like seeing you up here. Oh my goodness, Ryder! Also, the accent. The accent is... I mean, it's not the only thing, but... Uh... Okay, I should just go over there to the piloting thing. Kill. Me. 
now. Ryder, thank you. And so you know, the feeling's mutual. Yes. I mean, time to pathfind. Serious business. Saving everyone. <laughs> we might have a problem. I was running some numbers, mass balances and such. The Tempest is carrying about 70 kilos of extra mass. I think something's aboard that doesn't belong. Is it a problem that we're carrying extra mass? Not mechanically, but, but something heavy and unexplained? That's not good. Our internal sensors aren't getting anything, but they're not as powerful as a Pathfinder's scanner. Can you take a look? All right, I'll look around the ship and see what I can find. Got it. Suvi, that extra mass is behind the storage room bulkhead. Behind it? It looks like a construction mech welded right into the hull. Scanning the parts has activated an audio log. I think I know what that's about, Ryder. Come up to the bridge. Those parts you found welded in the storage room. I recognize them. From where? They belong to the ship's lead designer, Lucille Diawara. She broke her back during construction. But Lucille wouldn't abandon her ship. She converted a construction mech into a rig she could wear. She must have welded it into the hull. Her artist's signature. Not even a broken back could stop her dream. Sam, didn't you find an audio log with Lucille's rig? C can you play it? Sam found my construction gear then. Well done. One of you Pathfinders got the Tempest. Mason Barrow, Zevin Rika, Matriarch Ishara, Alec Ryder. You were the best of us. She's only saying that because she never met me. Take care of my ship and each other. Whatever is in Andromeda, you're the Milky Way to them. We are such stuff as dreams are made on, and our little life is rounded with a sleep. I never thought I'd hear Lucille's voice again. She really cared about the Pathfinders. Enough to give them her rig. For luck. It's part of initiative history. It should go to the Nexus for everyone to see. And maybe help someone else. I'll see to it, Ryder. Thanks. Now let's go make her proud. The discovery of Aya was just what we needed, Ryder. The Angaran scientists have been so generous in sharing their wisdom. It, it's been amazing. At least one of the first contact situations went well. <sighs> right? The Ket. Habitat 7. I'm thankful the Angara were willing to risk working with us. I'm afraid not all of them are quite so friendly. Some give trust easily. From others, you have to earn it. I'm confident we'll get there. I should get back to things. Sounds good. Callow, settle down. If this isn't a good reason to get excited. What's up? You guys aren't fighting, are you? Why would I fight with my best friend? Best friend? Oh, Callow. Callow's very excited about a report I received from EOS. It's good news. The radiation levels are steadily dropping. Your outpost, Prodromos, is really going to make it. When do you want to head back? Is there a rush? Just saying, if I created a thriving community in a brand new galaxy, I'd want to visit. Just wait till they put in the beach and the water slides. Now you're just playing with me. So, radiation levels are down. More to explore? I yes, but there's been a rise in cat activity as well. Figures that we're not the only ones to benefit from the planet's improvement. Might be nice to see how it's doing. Almost like a vacation. Almost. Maybe we'll head back at some point. Well, you're the boss. Just say the word. The swelling has gone down significantly, and I seem to be able to talk normally again. Good. Keep me updated. And remember, cool food and liquid only. Nothing spicy. Thank you, Lexi. Lexi and her rules, huh? Hey, I respect Lexi and her rules. She takes care of us. Without her, I might still be wheezing and trying not to choke in my fat tongue. I... What? Have you ever heard of the lick test? Back before scanners were portable, 
Earth scientists would employ this test in the field. They used it to tell rocks from fossils and get a basic idea of their mineral composition. <laughs> you licked a rock, didn't you? <sighs> I was distracted and forgot it was a Helios rock. I do it unconsciously. When I was little, my father and I would go on expeditions. The lick test was a huge part of it. He made science fun for me. Your mother was something of a scientist, wasn't she? She was. It's still difficult to talk about her. We all took her passing hard. I'm sorry. I hope it helps to know that what she and your father achieved with Sam is truly astounding. Thank you. I left my parents back home. They told me they were proud of me and then lived out their lives while I slept. If you think that means you're alone, you're wrong. Thank you. You saying that means the world to me. I'll take comfort in the people I've met here. And if you ever need me, I'm here for you too. Liam says he's planning a movie night. That's the idea. He's putting it off because it didn't seem right after seeing the exaltation facility. But now there's a delay. I had a thought. Every vid's better with snacks, right? I found an Angaran recipe for these little morsels you can make from a local Helios plant, but it's rare, and... You want me to look for one? Oh, would you? I'd love to, you know, be social and things. I found that plant you wanted. Great. I'll give the recipe a try when I'm off duty. I've already got ideas for how to jazz it up. And I'll keep working on Mr. I don't like movie nights here to come along. I like them. Just not when Gil is glowering at me. Ket genetics defies everything we know. They're bits of different species, and yet all Ket. It's bizarre, horrifying, fascinating, all at once. Just think, while you're poking around in their genetics, they're probably doing the same with ours. Huh. Wonderful. That's me never sleeping again. I should get back to things. Sounds good. I need a break. Do you need a break? Let's go for a break. Tea, Sarah? I'd love a cup. It's a cultivar originating in Sumatra. My own personal stash. Once I run out, that'll be it for Earth Tea. I keep having these thoughts. I'm never gonna taste this again. I'm never gonna see that again. You're not the only one, Suvi. I have those senseless thoughts all the damn time. And? Do they bother you? It's natural. You'd have to be made of stone not to miss home sometimes. The universe is like a giant tapestry. I love following its threads, but it distracts me from the whole picture. My family was right there, but I was too occupied by the abstract to appreciate them. From everything you've told me, you're here because of your family. Your love of science, doesn't that come from them? Aren't you with them every time you chase down a new discovery? Ryder, that's beautiful. My mother made the implant in my head, and my father created the AI that uses it. I haven't lost them either. And Suvi, the threads you followed led you here to me. How could that have been a mistake? Of everything I've encountered in Helios, you are by far my favorite. Sarah, don't do this to me. Not unless you really mean it. I know, and I'm serious. Serious about us. I really hope my plan to find Meridian works, because if not, I don't know what we'll do. Don't worry about it. We've figured it out so far, haven't we? Yes, we have. But that's no reason to... You know what? I'm just going to trust you. You are the Pathfinder, and you've brought us this far. You'll take us home. I should get back to things. Sounds good. The Nexus science team is completely blown away by what you found in the Remnant City. Back in the Milky Way, did it feel like this when you were out looking for Prothean artifacts? 
Absolutely. Got a crazy rush whenever we found something new. Rush? Yeah, that's what it is, isn't it? You know, the discovery of the Angaran origins have made me think hard about creation. If the Jardan were capable of creating life, then what does that say about God? You're wondering if he could be just a scientist? What if our creator is just like the Jardan, advanced but mortal, fallible? Even in that scenario, a higher power could still exist. There could always be something greater, greater than us, greater than the Jardan. I had faith before, and I'll keep having faith, because that's what faith is. Thank you, Ryder. You always know how to make me feel better. It's why you're so great. You just get me. <laughs> Sarah, Ugh, you gave me a fright. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you. I must have lost track of time. I was just scanning Jardan prototypes for an interactive model I'm building for the team. Wait, stand here and I'll show you. It, it's not complete yet, but... Wow. You're looking at the building blocks of life in Helios. This... This is what I came here to find. And I've only just started. It's beautiful. Sorry, did you say something? I said, it's beautiful. You mean the display, right? Your insatiable curiosity about the universe. Your faith. Your love of science. To be honest, I'm a little jealous. <laughs> you don't have to be. We just click on so many things. It feels right and comfortable and safe. Science is my calling and my passion, but you, you're my home. Lock the door. I know I said we should go out, but I want to stay here forever. I'd love nothing more than to stay here forever with you. <laughs> I wish. The team might have something to say about that when they try to get in here. But I'll take this moment for as long as it lasts. Because it's perfect.